Hi, so just a quick video to introduce to you Bauma's latest innovation, the O330 range, our basic commodity line standard sensors here. So in my hand here, I have the O330 GP, which is a background suppression sensor. Um, so this uh, line of sensors, the O330 line of sensors, has been designed for your OEM or machine builder, uh, special purpose machine builder, conveyor, manufacturer, conveyor user, uh, logistics and warehouse type uh, user of photo cells for really simple detection. So we do background suppression, we do retro reflective and through beam only in this line of uh, sensors. Um, it's no frills, so no IO link and extended functions like that. It is simply a is it there, is it not there family of sensors. So we have the background suppression here. We also have retro reflective and three beam versions of the sensor. Even though it's commodity uh, type or basic line, uh, there's some nice uh, key features that separate it from the rest. So some metal inserts here for mounting holes come in smooth or M3 threaded versions. You'll see for robustness, also a metal connector rather than a plastic connector, which can easily be snapped off. It's standard Brad Harrison M8 four pin uh, lineup there. The background suppression sensors can be taught via a uh, flat screwdriver or Allen key with a Q-teach uh, system that we have. So no trimmer pots or um, buttons. So very much maintenance free. Also, you'll see these little raised uh, portion of the back of the sensors for the LEDs. So when you'll see when I'll power it up in a second, you're able to see the outputs from 360 degrees. So from behind, from the side, from the front, and what the status is. So a lot of thought gone into a very basic line sensor um, for robustness, um, ease of use, and nice and powerful. So if I just connect that up right now for you, you'll see the sensor there powered up and you can see I can detect there. You see the LED come on at the back there when it sees something, whether it be a dark object on the black plastic there, shiny over here, white card over there, and even difficult detections on very shiny reflective things like a reflector and also on my wooden target here at the back. You'll notice that the beam spot is nice and small actually. So we've standardized on a pinpoint LED and on this standard background suppression, you get 20 to 350 mil. We also do a line beam version of the sensor, which gives you 20 to 250 mil. So it is very much a point and shoot type device. You can see it goes on and off for simple part detection with background suppression. There we go. So you can see the LED on from the side, from the back, of course, from the other side and also from the top there when it's on, there you go. So very robust design, very simple in operation, can be taught via the teach section at the back here. Let's see, there you go, it's flashing and I teach again. And there you go, it's taught its distance on, off, off, on. There we go. We also have a retro-reflective version of the sensor, the RP here. You'll see there's no teach facility on there. It is simply point at the reflector and it will give you a signal. There you go, point at the reflector, I break the beam and the output comes on. So on retro-reflective, we give a sensing distance of five meters and on the through beams 
you give a sensing distance of 10 meters. Um, the sensors come with uh, various output options, push-pull, NPN or PMP, and also in terms of mounting, uh, smooth threaded holes, metal or M3 threaded holes. All have metal connectors for robustness and this nice solid hard plastic IP67 rated.